A bracket is attached to a vertical column by means of two identical rivets U and V separated by a distance of 2A is equal to 100 mm as shown in the figure. The permissible shear stress of the rivet material is 50 MPa. If a load P is equal to 10 kN is applied at an eccentricity E is equal to 3 under root 7A, the minimum cross-sectional area of each of the rivets to avoid failure is dash mm square. So we have four options given along with the orientation and configuration of the rivets. Let's look at the solution. We are given with 2A is equal to 100 mm and eccentricity E is equal to 3 under root A and load P is equal to 10 kN. Since the number of rivets in the given arrangement are 2, the primary force experienced by the rivets is calculated as Fp is equal to P by N where P is the applied load which is 10 kN and N is the number of rivets in the given arrangement which is 2 and the primary force experienced by the rivets is 5 kN and the direction of primary force experienced by each of the rivet is downwards as shown in the figure. Then the secondary force acting on the rivets is calculated as the secondary force on the rivet U is equal to secondary force in the rivet V is equal to P into E by 2R and P is nothing but 10 kN into 3 into root 7 into A is 50 by 2 into 50 and this gives us the secondary force as 39.68 kN. The arrangement of secondary force acting on the rivets is shown in the figure. It can be understood that both the rivets are exactly at the same distance from the center of gravity of the rivet arrangement and hence both the rivets are critical. Then we need to find out the maximum shear force which is nothing but the resultant of primary force and the secondary force and the shear force turns out to be 40 kN. For the safe design of the riveted joint, the shear stress should be lesser or equal to the permissible stress and the shear, shear stress is nothing but 40 into 10 cube newtons by A which should be less than or equal to 50 megapascals. Upon simplification, we get the area of cross section as 800 mm square. That is, the minimum cross sectional area of each rivet required to avoid failure is 800 mm square. Hence, the correct answer to this question is option A.